Hello Aries, my name is Tree. Welcome to my channel. I am about to read the cards for you. I'm here to provide for you a message from the universe through the cards to help you to manifest your goals or overcome obstacles that you may be facing at this time. This is a timeless reading. So what that means is any time that you find this, this video, it was meant for you. And also if it resonates with you, it was meant for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, ask Spirit or the universe to provide, um, to clarify the strongest energies that you have at this time. We're going to clarify those. And I'm also going to ask Spirit to provide the best advice for your highest good. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and start with this Rider Waite deck. And... For Aries, please, Spirit, please give Aries and us the strongest energies to work with at this time. For Aries, highest good. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this one one time okay let's go ahead and start one more time there we go for aries strongest energies at this time okay your first card is the world card beautiful beautiful way to start you have a an advancement you have an end to an old cycle and a start of a new with with um the crown of achievement so that you've um letting you've already let go of old your old ways or an a lesser enlightened way of being and you are entering into a new phase of life a brand new start to uh, and you're you're just glowing with um achievement okay it's very exciting you also have, oh, you have the Three of Swords. So there's some heartbreak, perhaps, or some conflict, mental and heart energy. Um, maybe that has to do with this, you know, something you've had to let go of or something um, in the past. But whatever the case may be, we're going to see how to deal with all of this. The next card we have is the King of Wands. That's a very Aries type of card. You have a your a passionate, driven spirit of inspiration and boldness and um, divine guidance and protection. The, a great new way to start this new cycle here. And we also have the full card, Aries. Another indication of, look, this is the end and the beginning. Oh, wow, this is pretty wow, pretty profound. You have the end of the cycle and the beginning of a new cycle here. And these cards are are almost interchangeable because they are there. They well, this precipitates this, but it's just it's just incredible set of cards here. Um, I'm feeling that. There's a loss and a heartbreak, but you're moving forward. You're determined. You have, um, you have a lot of passion and a lot of uh, drive right now. And you have this curiosity, this wonderment, this childlike, this good attitude for a new start, a new fresh start, and a new leap of faith. Um, so let's just clarify these more. This very interesting set of cards we have to start with. I want to go ahead and clarify each of these cards for Aries, please. Spirit, <clears throat> for Aries, please uh, clarify and help us understand more about why these cards are here for Aries at this time. Help us to see more for Aries. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, let's see. 
All right, now I this one came out upside down, and so it's telling me that okay, this card, um, you know, this is the Eight of Swords, and this is a card of feeling blocked, feeling trapped with your own thoughts or uh, like analysis paralysis, not able to take a step, feeling stuck, feeling, you know, but this is to clarify the world card and the world card and it came out upside down, which is giving this energy of the freedom to choose. Self-created boundaries, a new perspective or external limitations, okay? So the world card is like this freedom. You have, uh, you know, you're in a new, whole new cycle now. You've, you've come out of a cycle. You've been through all of the other major arcanas. You've already been through all of that experience. You're in this world card uh, energy now. You're, you are kind of like before you can get from here to the here, there's a couple other barriers, it seems to me. But one thing to keep in mind is that you have the freedom to choose and you can create your own boundaries. And you just need to look at things a different way. You have a new perspective now. You have a new perspective because you've already been through so much. You've already been through the things from the past you've already been through all of that stuff and that's why you're here this is the accomplishment the achievement the end goal you know you've come out of that and and that's why you have this new perspective that's why you have the freedom to choose okay so the three of swords is clarified by the nine of swords worrying changes nothing decide your next step so there's an anxiety, anguish here, hopelessness here, victimization here. So you must, maybe you feel hurt. Your heart feels crushed. It feels, um, you know, you, you have a lot of mental energy, uh, worries and anxiety that are piercing your heart or, you know, bringing you pain inside and giving you this nightmarish feeling, this uh, anxiety, this nighttime anxiety, um, you know, and I think that this is a temporary situation um, for your energy. I think, um, you know, you're, this is something that you have, it's like the remnants of something in this past, because the world card does indicate that there's been a past, there's been a an overcoming of sorts, but yet it still remains for you some thoughts about that, some thoughts, lingering thoughts that still, um, you know, they, they still nag at you. They still, you know, hurt your heart somehow, but you know, these are, these are storm clouds and the rain on this card, um, you know, it's clearing up. You are going to get you are going to get through this. You're going to, you're going to move past this somehow. I think by being in this King of Wands is going to help you move past this. And then you can finally get from the, uh, from the world card to the next step, which is the full, your new beginning, your bright new future. Okay. So we just kind of have to overcome some of this past negative energy, negative thoughts, um, you know, it's, it's something you have, it, it's just a little bit of a extra cleanup, like a little cleaning up of the past feelings. Okay. And I think this King of Wands is one of the reasons, one of the indications of how we're going to do this. Okay. The clarifier for the King of Wands is the Queen of Cups. Okay. So this is two energies that you can use, I think, to get from here to here or from here to here. So the Queen of Cups is being open and to receive the healing and the nurturing that you need. Okay, so, oh yes, being calm, 
staying calm, being receptive, um, being kind and good natured, being in a positive mindset, being in love with love, being taking care of yourself, taking care of your um, the thing that you love. Um, just, yeah, loving yourself, loving your faith, loving your, um, your life, just loving, you know, being open to receive the healing that you need. And the King of Wands has that passion, drive. He's got, he's, he's just like so excited to take action, you know, and that's another part of how, how you're going to move past this. This, this anxiety or guilt or maybe maybe a little bit of guilt about how things turned out in the past or whatever, whatever, whatever that is. But let's just go on with the next. The Fool is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Holding on too tight can stop you from moving forward. All right, this is starting to make be, become a clear picture now. Okay, so what we see here, the world card, you have accomplished. You've been through everything, everything that a whole cycle demands. You've been through all of that. So you've come through and you're, you're bursting through with your wands, your uh, batons of... Um, you know, winning, a victory. And this is like a portal into the new cycle, a brand new, like the zero itself if in numerology is like a portal, like, um, what do they call it? Um, uh, something like, like... Zero point cosmic. energy field. You know, it's like... It's like a portal. It's like a portal into creation of something new, something brand new. And so you're stepping out of that old and into the new. But the, because you've already been through some stuff, there's a little bit of baggage. There's a little bit of lingering energies that are not serving you anymore. They're giving you some anxiety. They're giving you some worry. They're making you regret something. Um, but... The, there is a way to overcome that and part of the way to do it is to heal yourself realize you know uh, get in touch with your feelings and yourself here with this queen of cups nurture yourself understand that there's nothing really to regret because you've learned your lessons you have learned lessons you've You've been part of a, of a learning experience for yourself and for others. You are, uh, you love yourself. You are, you are worthy of the love that you, you know, you deserve it. You are compassionate not only to yourself but to others. And that feeds into this self-love. And you are very intuitive now you've learned so many things and you've learned how to be re how to receive love be receptive you know reciprocity be be receiving what you need re be um open to receiving the help that's around you wherever it may be um yeah, so that's that's one way, one a part of the picture of how you move from that point of uh, achievement of the world card and the point of um, coming through the portal. You're actually standing at the portal. You haven't got through it yet, or you're in order to actually move from it through it. You have to take care of a little bit of stuff. And so that's what that Queen of Cups is going to do help for, help for you. The K King of Wands also. He's looking forward to his... Um, he's got his passion. He's got his drive. He's got his imagination and his inspiration. And he knows he's protected. He's got this 
So the salamanders are uh, a symbol of being uh, protected through fire, the fire of his passion and the fire of opposition. You know, he's, he's a master of his passion. He's the king of wands, you know. So because he's already, you know, experienced so many things, because he's mastered it, he is able to move through this portal as well. You and you are the you have the King of Cups and you have the King of Wands, Queen of Cups and the King of Wands combining to make a personality or the personality traits that you need to step into this fool situation. This fool, this new opportunity, this where you don't know what's gonna happen, but you know you got a fresh start, a positive fresh start. You he's He's carefree. He's happy. He, he, he's innocent and pure again. He's been washed clean of all of this stuff. He's got the little white rose because he's pure now. He doesn't have regrets. He doesn't have uh, any kind of ill will or feelings. or, or uh, He's not suffering in his own heart for the things that he did back before he got to this world card. You know, if he hurt some people in the past, he's not carrying it with him anymore. He's got only the things he needs in here, including his cup, his wand, his, uh, his sword of logic and truth, and his, uh, what's the other one, cup, one, his pinnacle. He's got his opportunity in there too. So all the things in his bag are the things that the magician has on his table. So he has everything he needs and he's not carrying these this heartbreak these swords in the heart that's not there anymore you see on his the expression he's carefree he's starting fresh he's not burdened by any regrets at all um now as for what happens to him in the future that's up to him but um but he knows the spirit's got his back he knows he can take a leap of faith and that brings us to this, um, the Four of Pentacles again, reminding you, Aries, that if you do hold on too tight, it can stop you from moving forward. So maybe if you hold on too tight to regrets or to feelings of uh, anxiety, like thoughts of in the past or thoughts uh even they could be limiting beliefs for the for the present or limiting beliefs for the future um holding on to those kinds of things the things maybe that shaped you in the way that you were before the things that used to hold you back uh the fears doubts um overthinking those kinds of things those can hold you back and you could be holding on to those things. But, I mean, understandably, it's very hard to overcome lifelong habits of overthinking. Using tools like EFT tapping really helps to clear old programming. Swords, and this nine of swords. I mean, these are Gemini energies. Um, but these are things that are very difficult you know you're if your if your mind is overactive you know here's what you need to do be like the queen of cups okay be open receptive to the help that's available to you be open and receptive to this new you the kindness of you don't feel um, like even though you haven't done anything wrong you might be worrying about something that you someone else's pain okay that's another thing that's coming to mind is that another person's pain could be disturbing you um you know you may feel some kind of responsibility for it in some way but the the fact is we are all here for we're all doing the best that we can, right? And what we did before, before we knew better, we really don't have any control over it now, and we don't have any uh, blame to take for it at all. It's, um, you know, we don't have... 
you know, the, the Queen of Cups is not going to blame herself because she's taking care of herself. She's taking care of her heart. You know, this heart here, this Three of Swords, this heart's been damaged. It's been hurt, but it will heal. The Queen of Cups can heal that. This nurture yourself. Be good to yourself. Tell yourself how loving that you are. You know, that you are a very special person and a very lovable person. A lovable leader. Because the King of Wands is a leader. And you are a lovable, a lovable leader. And so, um, uh, another thing, I mean, this is Four of Pentacles. It can be, uh, it could, you know, um, it's st stability and security and control. Um, if you hold on too tight to control, trying to control your emotions, yourself, your actions to, you know, or your, I should say, um, your thoughts. Um, but, but with pinnacles, we're talking more about physical things. We're talking about our health and our physical things. Um, like, uh, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're afraid to take a risk and the, the, the full card is saying it's time to take a leap of faith or you can go ahead. You should go ahead and take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid of the risk. You know, um, this is a time that, you know, like, like the King of Wands is sure of, he has protection. He's protected. He's, he can make it. He's going to survive. He's, you know, he's, um, he's going to come out ahead no matter what. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get some more, some advice here for you, Aries, at this time. Let's go ahead and Look at the spirit animal cards and get some advice for Aries at this time to deal with this feeling, to find out how to move forward, to clarify or to confirm uh, the messages that we've seen so far for Aries. Thank you, spirit. We'll take three. So we have the hawk, spirituality. Fly above and beyond your day-to-day -day thoughts to observe them from a bird's eye view. Quieting the mind and detaching from your thought patterns puts you in a better position to take in messages from your spirit guides. Okay? Yeah, I like the King of Wands, like the Queen of Cups, being receptive. Uh, quiet the mind. You know, don't don't allow these thoughts to pierce your heart to keep you up at night. Um, observe your thoughts from a bird's eye view. It says, yeah, take in the message from your spirit guides. They're helping you. They're supporting you. They're going to catch you. Okay, what else do we have here? Manifestation, the spider. You weave your web in life. What you see before you is the result of your thoughts. If your current reality does not suit you, then it is time to make changes through conscious manifestation. Your energy can bring in all you desire. So that's very good information for you, Aries. I want to remind you too, if you check the description below, there will be some uh, guidance there about like several different ways to manifest things, to bring in manifestation, to focus on what you want. Um, so, I mean, it's just a little side note to check the description if you're interested in that. And also, let me check this last. Oh, look at this, Aries. Oh, my gosh. You got the ladybug luck. You got luck on your side. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Your goals are about to manifest in remarkable ways. Dreams are coming to fruition. Stop and enjoy this moment. It is important to let things flow at their natural pace. Rest assured that in due course of time, your wishes will come true. 
Oh my goodness, Aries, that is so exciting because I know this, this is the portal. You're heading into this new future. You are reaching, you've got luck on your side. You've got manifestation on your side. You've got spirituality on your side. You've got the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands, you know, the fool in the, the world, the beginning and the end. The end is here. The beginning is your new future. It's so obvious. It's so obvious. It's so gorgeous. Okay. That being said, I just love this reading so much. I want to get more information. Okay. Let me just see what else I can have. Um, let me take this Egyptian Oracle card for you, Aries. Uh, let's see what the Egyptian Oracle card has for you at this time for advice. Thank you, Spirit. One more card, please, for Aries. So cool. I love this reading. Mm -mm. Okay. Yes. One more card for Aries. Uh, come on now. One more card for Aries. Thank you. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, so we have number nine that came out first, Horus, stability and equilibrium. Okay, maybe that's part of this four of pentacles is telling you that you're headed for stability. Okay, um, stability and security. Yeah, it could be that. It, I mean, obviously, you are supposed to take a leap of faith. You're not supposed to hold too tight and hold yourself back. But another part of this message could be that you are headed for stability because this card confirms that a little bit. It says stability and equilibrium, balance. Um, we're going to read about him. His name is Horus. That's the god Horus. And then we have Bastet, number 16, passion. Okay. And we have the king of wands for passion. You have passion. And that's going to make you manifest oh, something that you really love, that you're driven to. Okay, I'm going to read about Horus and Bastet for us. And we're going to go from there and we're going to, you know, that's what we're going to end this with the um, information there about Horus, which is number nine. So number nine, Horus, stability and equilibrium. Take a look at this card. Horus is represented as a hawk or a hawk-headed man. His name means the distant one, the falcon with its majestic soaring and swooping in the sky. Look at this. We got the hawk here telling us to fly above and beyond your day-to-day -day thoughts and observe them from the bird's eye view. Quieting the mind, detaching from your thought patterns, which, you know, that's what this is. These swords are your thought patterns. Puts you in a better position to take in messages from your spirit guides. Oh, okay. And here we have Horus. And Horus has the falcon, uh, the falcon-headed man, or the hawk-headed man, the spiritually, spirituality-headed man. His name means the distant one, the falcon with its majestic soaring and swooping in the sky. During a confrontation with the god Seth, Horus lost his left eye, which was then healed by the god Thought. So he lost something, but it was healed the eye was given the name of the Eye of Horus. He embodies universal order and harmony. Put your trust in the god Horus because everything will turn out fine as with the albeit painful loss of false friends. On the physical plane, you will be wrapped in harmony. His presence advises you to show more awareness in the way you pay attention to your life. He helps you to transform all things from an inferior to superior level. And that's what I'm seeing here, the world card. Everything is in harmony. You be wrapped in harmony. Um, show more awareness in the way you pay attention to your life, pay attention to your thoughts. And even if you've had to let go of some people, some people from your past you know it's it's okay everything's going to be okay you've got you know everything's going to be fine 
all things from an inferior to a superior level. That's your manifestation and your luck. Ooh, beautiful message. So let me look at the like Bastet number 16. And that one's pretty cool. It's passion. Bastet. Let's look at her. Cat-headed female deity or portrayed as a black cat. Sun goddess. She personifies the beneficial heat of the sun. Protectress of the house and cats. <laughs> cat ladies. Any cat ladies out there like myself? Goddess of prosperity and wealth. She represents sensuality and tenderness, charm and generosity, love and passion. This is her charm, generosity, and love and passion, desire and pleasure. Maybe you should take a break from your routine and reconnect with nature and yourself. Yeah, that's the, her. Live your life with more fullness and passion. It lies within your ability to develop seduction and passion. Okay. You could get great satisfaction in any area of your life and experience moments full of joy and satisfaction. So Aries, this is it. You are blessed with stability, passion, a new beginning. You know, there's a, there's a little bit of, of uh, baggage, a little bit of, uh, anxiety to let go of and part of the message that I got from today is a piece of advice to um, take your nervous energy and and get your heart rate up be sensual you know be passionate be loving you know f get that heart rate going you know find some something to motivate you drive you with passion and especially, you know, move your body, get your anxieties out, you know, don't let, uh, you know, these things, you know, f find the way to love, you know, uh, love the old self too, you know, love yourself fully, knowing that whatever, whatever happened before you got to the world card here in the past, when there were tower moments and, um, you know, devil cards and, all kinds of things to deal with, hermit, uh, er everything that you went through before you got here, you know, all of that stuff. It's made you who you are today, and you're passionate, and you're, you are blessed with horror, stability, and equilibrium, wealth, and opportunity, and new, fresh beginnings. This is luck, ladybug luck, hawk spirituality, and spider manifestation. Wow, you mean this is just so exciting for I'm so excited for you, Aries. I really hope you enjoyed this reading because I really enjoyed reading it for you. It was so fun. It feels so good. I'm so happy and I just want to invite you to come back, uh, back with me again. Subscribe, like if it, anything resonated. I hope you got something out of this too. Um, I'm not going to take up any more of your time, but I just want to thank you so much for your, your coming to share this moment with me and, um, you know, for any, every, everything that you do to, uh, support this channel in any way possible is truly appreciated. So with that being said, we'll see you next time and love and light.